Hi, my name is Mrs. Timmons, and I'm going to show you how to cite an ebook in Noodle Tools. We're going to create a new citation, and um, you do need to know whether you got your ebook from a database, a website, or a device like a Kindle. For our first example, I'm just going to do database and then click book. Now, if I change my mind later, I can always use the tabs at the top and easily change it back to website or ebook file. But for this example, we're going to do database. So the first book I'm going to show you is the Ongoing Columbian Exchange. We have to figure out what the name of the database is. Using the uh, About button, we can see that the name of this collection is the ABC Clio ebook collection. So I'm going to copy that and use that as the name of my database. And then I also want to be sure and grab the URL. Now again, the difference between a database and a website, they're both online, but in a database you usually have to enter a username and password or you have to pay for access, whereas a website is open to everybody. So that's one of the ways you can tell. Now this is the, um, the rest of the citation is basically exactly like every other book you've ever cited. You're going to need the title, the author, the publisher name, and the year. So here I've got my title. The author is Christopher Kumo. It was published in 2015 by ABC Clio. So if I just go back into Noodle Tools and enter in those main pieces of information, I will pretty quickly have my book cited. So again, this bottom portion is almost exactly what it would look like if you had just used the print book and cited that. The only piece that's different is you had to figure out the name of the database and the URL to do your ebook citation. When I save this, I can look and see the author is Kumo, and there it is highlighted. Again, it looks pretty much like a normal book citation. The only difference is it has this database name and it has this URL in there. So let's try another example. Um, and if that's the only thing you needed to see, you are done and you can stop watching the video. But if you do need to see how to cite from either Internet Archive, MISBO, Project Gutenberg, or Kindle, I'm going to go through those examples as well. So books on the Internet Archive are available free in the public domain. They are still, however, they started out as books, and so you can get a lot of the print book information either in the picture of the book or down where they give you some of the information from the original book. So again, I'm going to need to know the name of my, in this case, website, not database, because it's free online. If I click on that About button again, it will tell me that the name of it is the Internet Archive. That's what I want to use as the name of my website to cite this book. So I'm going to start another new citation, and this time I'm going to say it was a website, but it's still a book. And then I've got my name of my website which is the Internet Archive. And just one quick thing, notice how this defaults to a born digital publication. You're going to have to change it to a print publication information provided unless it really was born digital, like it was an Amazon ebook that was originally published online. The reason is this e-publication um, doesn't give you down here this sort of publisher and year information that a normal book does. And so if I click here, it's going to reorganize the record so that the bottom part looks like a normal book. Okay, my container website was the Internet Archive, and my URL is right there. I'm going to copy and paste that in. I have the author of the book, who I believe is W. Wade Fowler, and there's the name right here displayed in the book but it's also available down here in the rest of the record, okay? So W. Wade Fowler, and for the title of the book, again, I can copy it from right here.
and notice it says the publication date was 1899 so I can add that in as well the publication year and the publisher name had displayed on the page oops so let me pull it back up right down here you can see it was published in London by Macmillan and Company so you just need to say Macmillan for the publisher and that's actually all of you all you need you've got basically a regular book citation with just a little bit of extra information to say the name of the website and the URL that you got that from so down here you can see my finished citation for this ebook okay another example is a book from Mizbo and or Overdrive online library. So let's say I have this copy of Divergent that I read from Mizbo. Again, I'm going to have a citation. Mizbo is not free. You do have to have a username and password. So I'm going to go back to a database citation for this one. But again, it is a book. And for the name of the database, I'm going to go with what it displays up here, MISBO Digital Library. That looks like what they want me to use. Next, I'm going to grab my URL from the top. And then the rest of it is pretty much like a regular book citation. I can see my author and title. Now to find the um, publication date, MISBO actually does have a field down at the bottom for title information. And you could open this and find out publisher HarperCollins, uh, release date 2011. You could also, if in doubt, look in the library catalog uh, where you access the book and you can get some of the publication information from down here but again I've got it from right here in the record HarperCollins 2011 so all I need to do is plug that in and then my record will be finished and then again you'll be able to see it looks pretty much like a regular book record the only difference being you have the name of your database service that you accessed it through and you have your URL. All right. I am also going to show you a Kindle book. Um, this is in the Kindle reader, but it's also something that you could read on your Kindle. So again, you're just looking for the title, the author, here's the publisher, Bantam. For some reason, I can't see the year. But you can actually just go look it up on Amazon and find out the year in the publication record there. The thing that's a little different from the examples we've done so far when you're actually reading on a device is you might want to go straight to the file app or ebook tab. And if you click ebook, it's going to default to that ebook tab we saw earlier right here. And this has, again, a lot less information. The only thing it's asking us is to put in the file type. And so you can see Noodle Tools is giving you some advice. Here are some file types you can pick from. So in our case, it's a Kindle, but it could have been a PDF or an EPUB. And again, I have my author, Daniel Quinn. The title is Ishmael. And I was able to see that the publisher was Bantam. And then just looking on Amazon, get the publication year for this edition at 2009. So when I save this, it will look a little bit different from the ones that we just did because I did not enter a URL or a database. So as you can see, it's much shorter, but it does include in their Kindle edition from the information that I entered. Now the last example I'm going to do, and this one is the hardest, is a Project Gutenberg ebook. Project Gutenberg was a service to um, digitize a lot of older books that are available in the public domain. And they are not in a very regular format, and they don't give you a lot of information about where they got their original. Again, it's in the public domain, so they're allowed to do that. 
Um, so it's hard to sometimes to gather the information that you need to cite it. Um, so you could cite it as an ebook. We're going to go ahead and just try a website that will let me include the URL, which I've got right here. And it will let me include the fact that I'm getting it from the container website. Let me change to, yeah, Project Gutenberg. Now, earlier I had mentioned this button changing between print publication information provided or just e-publication born digital. Even though this one wasn't technically born digital, they're really not giving me the original information. I know that it, it was, the book was called Beyond Good and Evil, and that I know the translator here and the author, but it's just giving me a release date for the ebook, and it's not actually telling me anywhere the exact edition that this came from, because this is not an exact record. It's not telling me the publisher or the publication year, so it's really hard for me to figure out exactly what information to add. So in a case like Project Gutenberg, I would just tell you to do your best um, with the information you have. Um, as long as you are creating a trail where someone can kind of follow where you got your ebook from, then that is good enough. And so here I have my, I don't have a publication date, but I do have a date last updated. So I might go ahead and put that in. At least it's some information. Okay. So I'm just doing my best with what I have. It's not perfect, but um, Project Gutenberg is a little difficult like that. Okay, so I think we just went through five different examples of how to create ebooks from different databases, devices, or websites. I hope that answered all of your questions, but if not, please contact me and I'm happy to answer any more. Thanks.